All right, so this video is about this 12 inch vinyl I just received. It's a blank. And by the way, that's not a scratch. It still has the, uh, the film on it and it's pretty clean. Um, first thing I gotta do is make a secondary hole like this. And then uh, we'll try to cut on it. The only issue I have with this 12 inch is that there's going to be so much drag that by the time you play it, it's going to be too fast. So, but we'll see what happens. We'll experiment with it. I've got embossing needles and cutting needles. And I'm pretty stuffed up, so I probably sound like crap. Anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, drill a hole so that we can use this thing and take it from there. All right. Okay, I've already done a test run and seems to be as eh, fair. I wouldn't say it was good, I wouldn't say it was excellent, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, demonstrate what I did. You can see here, in here where I've made the cut, and that worked out pretty good. I'm gonna show you in real time what it's like. So let's turn on the radio. Who did so much for basketball? Bill I'm gonna put on record. We'll wait till the little lights blink. Here we go. So, let's go ahead and do a cut. Here we go. And then when it's all done, we'll go upstairs and try it. It's cutting pretty well and it's not making any noise, which is a good sign. I gotta give him the proper introduction and he'll appreciate this. Let's head out to the spectrum for the starting line. It looks like it's cutting correctly, but it's not great. I still get a little hissing. This is a cutting needle, not an embossing needle. I tried the embossing needle and it does not work very well at all. So this has has to have a cutting needle. I wish I had the correct type of cutting needle, but I'm using stuff I bought from uh, a guy on eBay. So, all right. I think this is a good enough test here. We've got a couple minutes. All right. Let's go upstairs. And try it. Okay, so here we go. This is the second cut. I don't know what that noise comes from. So I'm into the hole, and I see and I read the names who are going into the hall. They're cheating the hall by putting unqualified people in there every Saturday. You can find the end of post podcast only on podcastarena.com. It's the Sean Salisbury Show. I gotta give him the proper introduction and he'll appreciate this. Let's head out to the spectrum for the starting lineup and Dave Zinkoff. The doctor, Julius Servant number six. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you, it's chilling around something I'm fine when I hear Dave Zinkoff's voice because, you know, we did that 11 years together in Philly and uh, he never missed a beat. Man. And he was the type of guy who, you know, I'd have basketball camps and stuff like that. I called him so he could. I wish the hissing, I'm not sure how to fix that, but I'll show you the first recording I did.
You better be able to watch. You better, in a very short amount of time, be able to relay all the information this, that you need. This isn't bad. To the audience. And that is a skill you have to develop. And a guy who throws a football for a living and all of that, you got you got to work at that. There are people who don't throw a football for a living that had to work at that. And let's try it. Okay, this is another test here. Okay, this is a test. Today is 4-4-2017. Four, four, We're going to try to uh, cut a record, a vinyl record, a 12-inch vinyl record we just received yesterday. So we're going to see how good it cuts, if it does. And we're going to try a embossing needle as well as a cutting needle. So this again, this is a test. Testing one, two, three. And let's try it. So there you have it. Um, it's not the best. It does cut. I think having the right cutting needle uh, you could probably create a good record with this um, especially this first one I, I really like this first one because there's hardly any hiss in it try it again better be able to watch you better in a very short amount of time be able to relay all the information that you need on every play to the audience and that is a skill you have to develop and a guy who throws a football for a living and all of that you got it seems like the second cut I made to the hall, the hall. has a lot of hiss. Unqualified people in there every Saturday. You can find the end of post podcast only on podcastarena.com. This is John. Anyway, you be the judge. Um, it seems to work fairly good, but not as good as I would want it. Like I said, the first cut, I really like this one. I'm going to go back and try it one more time. Clean this in here. You have to analyze. You better be able to watch. There's hardly any hiss on that one. In a short amount of time, be able to relay all the information that you need on every play to the audience. And that is a skill you have to develop. And a guy who throws a football for a living and all of that, you got to gotta work at that. There are people who don't throw a football for a living that had to work at that. And let's try it. Let's try this again. All the information that you need on every play to the audience. And that is a skill you have to develop. And a guy who throws a football for a living and all of that, you got to gotta work at that. There are people who don't throw a football for a living that had to work at that. So it all depends on the weight of the needle, the cutting needle, as well as the type of needle. So my suggestion is keep trying different things and uh, maybe we'll get it right one of these days. All right. Thanks for watching.